Hi, I'm JMO from a company called Xcase in the UK, www.xcase.co.uk. Please take the time to take a look at our website and join our Facebook. So I wanted to show you a uh, product we do, it's called the Xcase RM424 Gen 2-EX. EX is for expander and that's because it's got an expander backplane. So the basic chassis has got these 24 hot swap trays fitted here with a three and a half inch drive but you can also fit two and a half inch drives into the caddies. Each caddy has two lights, one's blue for power and activity and the other one is red and that's for warnings and location. Twenty-four of those going across. General setup will be drive zero up the top left there and twenty-three down the bottom right. So looking across here you'll see these 120mm fans, they're removable, so easy to change, and each of the fans got a little temperature sensor, so they'll speed up if things get a little bit warm, which they probably will given the amount of heat from 24 drives. <clears throat> Some customers are always, you know, opting about uh, doing low noise fans, etc. I really don't recommend it. They don't put enough airflow through. Your drives will get too warm and they'll pop. So the fans that are fitted are a good medium. They're not over noisy, but uh, you really don't want the low airflow really quiet ones. Now, I said at the beginning this is an EX version, that means it's got an expander backplane and it's not complicated but people get confused so I'll just go over it quickly. In days gone by if you've got a 24 port machine like this 24 hot swap bays. You'd need to be able to control all 24 drives with a, a 24 port RAID card or something like a 16 and an 8 port HBA card or three 8 ports. Anyway, you get the idea. <clears throat> with an expander backplane, you can control all 24 drives by a single 4 port card. Now this particular setup is um, a, a JBOD, so this basically means we don't have the motherboard or anything in here at all. I'm going to just set it up just so I can give you an example of how everything works. And so from the SAS connection here, you've got one cable here which would normally go to a 4 port or 8 port card internally. You can use an 8 port card because you have got two mini SAS connectors. And then that card would control all 24 drives. However, as this is a JBOD, I've just hooked up a little demo thing here. So there's a four port card. This one's got a internal four port connection. So if the motherboard was in the chassis, that would be where your cable would go to. But because as a JBOD, let's pretend this is a another server, the host server. This card's got an external uh, connection 
which through this cable here we can then connect into the back of our JBOD box like so and then that card in a separate machine will be able to control this whole box of 24 drives without a motherboard memory processor so it's a very cheap way of adding on storage now I've already hooked up um, an LSI Mega Raid uh, this is the 9300 4i4e and if I turn the server on I'll give you a quick demo of how everything works out Foolishly, I've connected me light to the on off switch so there you go there's power green light comes on there you'll see the two blue lights flickering away where I've got two hard drives and if we look back you'll now see that the two drives show up in the uh, Mega Raid BIOS so it really is as simple as that as said that's a four port with an external connection but if you is using an internal card I'd probably go for an 8 port and connect it to the two connectors here also just other features of the chassis you've got this internal two and a half inch tray that's to fit two two and a half inch hard drives On this example I've just hooked up a standard ATX power supply but you can fit in a 2U or a 2U or 3U redundant power supply into the chassis and to power the power supply on and off we're just using a Shembro universal daughter board now as it stands this little JBOD setup um, without doubt is the lowest cost European 24 bay JBOD available so if you're looking for one well now you know where to come but it works perfectly well also as a server where you can fit uh, micro ATX, standard ATX and extended ATX boards into it. The 424 Gen 2 EX chassis comes with a set of rack mount rails so you don't have to add those onto your costs. And if, for instance, I wanted to locate this drive through the Mega Raid software, you'd have a red blinking light below. Or if it was rebuilding a raid, or there was a fault on the drive, you'd also have the red light on. So if it's um, in a data center, or you want to know what drives causing a problem all you need to do is look for the red lights so I think that's about it for now sorry I've got a bit of a cold so it might not come over very well X case RM424 Gen 2 EX thanks for listening